Hey everyone, welcome back to Casually Cardano. My name is Trevor, and if you're here for the title of the video, we're gonna jump straight into the Eternal Wallet tutorial. It's one of the best light wallets currently available on the Cardano blockchain to access the ecosystem. So if you're interested in that and learning more about news or other tutorials related to Cardano, please consider subscribing to Casually Cardano. The button is right below. It says a white subscribe right there. And throw me a like if you love this video. So let's jump straight into it. And here is the eternal wallet that you will see when you download the screen itself. And in order to access the eternal wallet, um, if you are on a Chrome browser, you can go to the Chrome web store and download eternal. I already have it installed and it'll pop up right here in the top right corner if you can see that there. And then when you go to the main screen, I already have a couple wallets, but we're going to be creating a brand new wallet today. And yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So when you see the eternal screen, it says a Cardano light wallet, our mission to establish eternal as one of the major Cardano wallets by implementing features requested by the Cardano community. I believe they are not open source. So the code is not available. There are other wallets that are more open source. So if you feel free, if you like more open source wallets, there's others available for you. But so far, in my opinion, Eternal works the best out of every single one that's available. So here we go. When you want to create a brand new wallet, you want to hit add wallet. You can either create a new one. You can restore one that may, let's say you have a dataless wallet that you haven't been able to access just because it's little difficult to use. You can restore one there. You can import an old wallet, or you can use a hardware wallet, whether you have a Trezor or a Ledger. Um, you can, it's arguably and probably the best and way to store your cryptocurrencies. That way it's not online and it's more of a cold storage than what's called a hot wallet, which is what is uh, an internal wallet, for example, is a hot wallet, which is connected to the internet. For this video, we're going to be creating a new wallet, um, creating a Cardano Shelly wallet. So we can call it, for example, casually Cardano. And then we can enter a strong password. So I will be creating that real quick and uh, we'll jump to the next step. So once you have your password, I highly recommend that you write everything down. I want to go full screen for this really quick because this is an extremely important point. Um, Writing down your passwords is just intuitive and imperative to everything that you do online in general, but also for your crypto, considering it has a monetary value. So you want to have a good password and a good place to store it. Personally, I use a journal um, or just any book, for example, and that you know that you can keep secure and readily available whenever you need it. Um, I don't use a password manager just because those things have been known to have leaked passwords. So having some password or, for example, your security keys offline is the best way to keep and manage your cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, whether it's a hot wallet or a cold wallet. So once you have your password, make sure to write it down. Same thing with your security keys. So once you have that, click save. And here it'll point um, an internal wallet can have the 24 accounts. So currently in this one, I have two. So I'm only creating one account, so you can click save. And on the following page, you'll be given, the next page is your recovery phrase, which is your security keys is what I've been talking about. It says here, on the following page, you'll be given a list of 24 words to write down on paper and keep in a safe place. So those 24 words, again, you should absolutely write down. Do not trust by taking a picture or anything like that. Write them down and keep them in a safe spot that you'll know they'll be safe and secure. Um, they even say here, the simplest way to keep your wallet recovery phrase secure is to never store it digitally or online. Um, using your recovery phrase is the only way to recover your wallet if your computer is lost, broken, stolen, or stops working. So when you click here, nobody can see your screen, and I will get the 24 words associated with this wallet. You'll get the 24 words associated with your wallet, etc. I'll see you on the next step. All right, so once you've written down your 24 word recovery phrase, this is the next screen that you'll see. Enter your wallet recovery phrase word for word. So as you noticed, each word had a highlighted number one through 24. You want to enter those in order as exactly as you wrote them down. They are in a specified order. So that way it's completely random and potentially you could have multiple words 
every wallet. So it's not, it's way more secure in that fashion. So enter your recovery phrase in order with all the words spelled out. Once you start entering a word, it'll auto fill one out. So it's easier to type in, but then I'll get, I'll meet you at the next step. And once you have created that wallet and click the next button and enter that recovery phrase, you'll see everything here is readily available to you. Now I don't have anything in this wallet. I'm going to add some Cardano ADA to this wallet from another wallet that I have. And so I'll go through how to send transactions and everything and how to navigate this UI because it is fairly advanced. And I wanna make sure that you understand what you're looking at compared to other wallets that might look a little bit simpler, like the Lace wallet, for example. So up here in the top right, you have your refresh button, which basically right here, it says synced. If you refresh that, it'll start syncing again. And it'll give you, let's say you're having an incoming transaction or pending one, it will refresh and well, your transaction may or may not go through. This is the eye. So it uh, is it sensors all of your uh, Cardano that you might have and all your transactions, just so in case some prying eyes are there. This little plug up here is your connection to utilize um, Cardano services like DeFi store or DeFi applications um, or NFT marketplaces. This is your ability to access all of that and it is automatically comes um, with your wallet. And then this one can uh, showcase to uh, daytime mode or light mode. We're going to stick in dark mode for example, for just for this um, tutorial. Up here on the top, you'll have account, which showcases all of your funds and potential staking rewards and where you're currently delegating to. Um, and then your transactions, which you will have a history of them or your pending transactions. I like to stick in the history tab just because pending could a little, be a little bit confusing. So I like to stick in history. In your account, actually, you also have uh, tabs up here that show summary, um, token list, where you'll be able to see your native assets, tokens, NFTs, and others. Um, I don't have any tokens in this wallet, obviously. This is your UTXO list. So uh, all of your UTXOs under management of this account, including amount and token lists. Um, you can explore this when you use your eternal wallet, but personally, I don't stick in here. And you also can have your account list. So you have multiple accounts to delegate to multiple pools, um, which is really cool. So we'll stick in summary for now. You also have transactions, like I said. This is where you go to the send section and you can enter a receive address and then we will explore all that in a second. You can also import other wallets. You can import sun signed or signed transactions and have a transaction builder. But again, all this is very advanced. So you wanna to stick to the send section. Um, and then if you have other accounts, you can send them to other eternal accounts if you wish. Um, this is a basically a brand new feature, but this is basically a swap feature. So you can interact with DeFi straight from your wallet. Thanks to Muesli Swap's DEX aggregator, you can now swap tokens right in your wallet. So you can swap from ADA to any uh, Cardano token on the blockchain right now. And they're all available for you on these pages here, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then you also have your open orders um, if you have swap orders that aren't displayed yet when you go into if when you swap something in this screen This is your receive screen. So this is your address um, And then you can have multiple addresses used which is the setting I have currently or you can have single addresses Which I will show you eventually. There's also staking so you can click and enter any ticker pool name or other details to a pool so for example one of my favorite pools is 21 ADA and you can click to delegate to them at any point. It shows their saturation and the pledge, all the details associated with any stake pool. And you can have all of the settings here. Um, one major caveat that we will get into after I get ADA onto this wallet is collateral. So let's jump to the next step after I get ADA onto this wallet. So if you want to receive ADA through your eternal wallet, you want to copy this address that is given to you here copy that one. And we'll go into this NAMI wallet that I have here, which I have so about 161 ADA. So I'm going to click send, copy it into this address bar here. Make sure you're on the mainnet as well. There are is the mainnet, which is the everything you're able to access that is publicly available on the Cardano blockchain, or you can switch any wallet to the testnet for the other testing features or the pre-production stuff. 
like how Lace Wallet is currently before it's available to everybody else. So when you want to send your Cardano, you click 50 ADA here and you click send and I'll type my password for my NAMI wallet and you'll see the transaction available on the eternal wallet. So I'll meet you at the next step. So there you go. I received my funds in a matter of 10 seconds. I just clicked the refresh button and it says low here, which means uh, there isn't enough confirmations to specifically say that I have this 50 ADA, but I do. Eventually that'll turn from into a low to medium to high confirmation number. That'll just take up over the course of time. So no need to worry about that. So I have the 50 ADA and I received that from the NAMI wallet. And these are all the specific details. Um, uh, and you can view the transaction ID. You can view all the stuff that that wallet had, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to send any ADA, um, specifically, I would begin by setting your collateral. So if you go into your settings here at the top, this, sets, this section says collateral. And if you expand it, you should be able to set your collateral. So Eternal can use any UTXO with no tokens and a value between 5 ADA and 20 ADA as collateral. Basically, it's almost like imagine a savings account in the USA, at least you need a minimum balance in order to keep that savings account open for collateral. It's just the same way when you interact with DeFi applications, you need a minimum of five ADA in order for that to work. So we're going to set our collateral here and enter the spending password. So let's go ahead and enter that password. And once you sign that, you have an internal transfer available to you and your history will reflect that once it's available to you. So we'll meet you when that transaction goes through. Okay, I just received that internal transfer, which means my wallet is now has a collateral set of five ADA, and it just took a small fee in order to send that transaction through. So that's basically everything you need to know about the eternal wallet. Now, there are plenty of other features that you can explore. So if you're interested in a more advanced tutorial video for Eternal Wallet, please let me know in the comments below. But that's everything, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're still here, hit that subscribe button. It's the white button right below the video. And give me a like as well if you enjoyed it. My name is Trevor. This has been Casually Cardano, and I'll see you in the next one.